You're watching MSG Network, home of Fox Sports Net. This season started as a celebration of baseball's greatest place and 75 years of Yankee Stadium history, which included a massive two-year renovation starting in 1974. This year on opening day, Joe D and the largest ever regular season crowd rocked the Bronx again. And unknown to us all was that a beam was weakening and loosening, eventually falling when no one was sitting in what would have been a most fateful seat. While they fixed the house that Ruth built, the Yankees become the Flushing Bombers, moving to Shea Stadium. How long a road trip this will be is anybody's guess. MSG Network is the network of Yankees baseball, and today we welcome you live to Shea Stadium in Flushing, New York. It is what was supposed to be the third and final game of a three-game series between the Anaheim Angels and the Yankees, but it'll be the only one they play this week. Ken Hill, perfect on the season, 2-0 with a 0-0-0 ERA, goes up against David Wells. And it is drizzling slightly here at Shea Stadium as we welcome you. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Al Troutwick. The weather is supposed to get better as the day goes on. That is the good news. The Yankees, and as you can hear behind me, the Yankee fans, as they're welcomed to Shea Stadium by Bob Shepard's voice, are here to have a good time and celebrate this quirk in the schedule and this most strange occurrence which has interrupted the Yankees' home season. We now know the sights and the thoughts of what happened on Monday at about 3 o'clock. That huge steel beam, about 500 pounds, crashed through the roof from the upper deck to the mezzanine, leaving this crater in the concrete below and splattering the seats. Well, yesterday, 350 workers were combing through the interior workings of Yankee Stadium. Yesterday's game was canceled as well, and shortly before today's game, I spoke to Yankee owner George Steinbrenner. It's a strange feeling. We've got to come over here and play them this year, of course, but uh, it's a very strange feeling to come walking in here on such short notice. You haven't had a chance to get prepared for it. How about the extraordinary planning that's gone into changing well, the tickets the Mets, and the police? The Mets were very helpful. They were very helpful to us, and we appreciate that. And uh, now we've got to get Detroit to help us. And, what does uh, that mean? I mean, switching our series. That's a relatively easy. In other words, we were going to play Detroit here this weekend. We should go and just take the games there and flip-flop those three games. And we're asking Detroit to help us. And I, I think Mike Illich is a very good friend, and I think he'll do it. So there's George Steinbrenner confirming the fact that the Yankees are indeed asking the Detroit Tigers to flip-flop what's supposed to be at Yankee Stadium this weekend, at Detroit next weekend. We'll give you the latest once we get confirmation if that comes today. Meanwhile, the Yankees and the Anaheim Angels at Shea Stadium. Some National League memories for Ken Singleton, I think, Jim Cott. Well, certainly some memories for all of us here at Shea Stadium. The Yankees making history at the start of this season with more runs on opening day than any game in the history of the state. This is not the kind of history they wanted to make, but let's get to the game of baseball. The same pitchers that were scheduled to pitch on Monday night, David Wells and Ken Hill will hook up again. Well, they also hooked up out in Anaheim, and David Wells came out on the short end of the stick in that particular series. David Wells was pitching very well, if you will, until the fourth inning. An 0-2 pitch, a mistake pitch to Dave Hollins, put the Angels on the board, and that broke the scoreless tie, and the Angels went on to win that ball game 10-2 as they broke it open against the bullpen. On that same night, Ken Hill started for the Angels. He was outstanding. His recent history has him pitching well early in the season. He was very tough against the Yankees. And you see in that matchup, Ken Hill, six innings, no earned runs. He has yet to give up an earned run this year. David Wells is looking for his second win of the season, and the Yankees will have one change in their lineup today. Dale Swain will get the start at third base. We'll have this historic game for you from Shea Stadium when we come back on MSG after this.